What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're doing a daily Manchester City transfer update which we are rolling out every single day throughout all of the rest of the January transfer window. So if you're interested in staying up to date and in the loop with the latest Manchester City transfer news then make sure you do subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. We'll be doing these videos daily in the summer transfer window as well so worthwhile subscribing, aiming for 20k subscribers so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Appreciated social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram email, also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries, leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video, aiming for 300 likes. And also, lastly, most importantly, let me know your thoughts in the comments below as I'm always interested in what you do have to say with regards to these transfers. So without further ado, let's crack on with this video. We're going to start off first with the contract news and we've got a little update on Sergio Aguero. Now, Manchester Evening News have been reporting that still Manchester City have not offered anything to Sergio Aguero. Of course, Aguero is free to speak to any club outside of England right now and he's heavily been linked with a move to Paris Saint-Germain. So this is very concerning for me. Uh, a little more of an update on some other little angles that uh, have uh, materialised from this, from the Manchester Evening News. Uh, Manchester City are still keeping an eye on Lionel Messi and have the funds to uh, have... Uh, finance a move for him should he be free in the summer City waiting for indication on whether Messi's going to leave or sign a new contract with Barcelona interestingly Manchester City are confirmed by the MEN to have also uh, to be keeping tabs on Erling Haaland from Borussia Dortmund which of course we already know as we covered that uh, just a couple of weeks ago so moving on to the outs we've got a little update on THB Taylor Harwood Bellis uh, Manchester City apparently have rejected a couple of loan proposals for him in this window uh, and they're you doing that because uh, they're uh, keeping him in case anything happens and I presume this is with regards to Eric Garcia of course if Eric Garcia leaves Manchester City uh, by, between now and the end of the transfer window and it could happen it has been rumoured that that could happen though Barcelona are struggling because the presidents are disagreeing or the potential presidents anyway are all disagreeing on when they want to bring Eric Garcia in some are saying they want to save on money and finances and uh, sign him in the summer considering he's going to cost them nothing others are going that they want him now to make sure they get that secured um, so we'll wait and see what happens there if Garcia leaves THB he will be promoted into Garcia's spot is what it's seemingly suggesting uh, for this article uh, or uh, he could well um, leave Manchester City THB on loan that's if Eric Garcia decides to stay I reckon we'll probably uh, be in a better position to understand this on transfer deadline day so I would not be surprised when we do our deadline day special if uh, Taylor Harwood Bellis ends up being loaned out uh, to uh, a club in England but we'll wait to see what happens there but as of right now City blocking any move of him being loaned out and I presume that is with Eric Garcia in mind because he could still leave to go to Barcelona. Now we've got a little update on Cloyverf Ajuela if you remember him back from our summer transfer updates he will be joining Manchester City very very soon he is expected to be registered with the under 23 squad before he will be loaned out to the CFG it's expected that either be Lommel in Belgium or Girona in Spain Spain is costing Manchester City 2.5 million euros and he is a 17 year old Peruvian right back uh, who City have brought him in from uh, Alianza Lima in Peru. So I want to uh, give the warmest of welcomes to Cloyver uh, and wish him the best of luck at Manchester City and in the CFG too. Now moving on to the ins, firstly we're going to start with uh, an update on David Alaba. If you're a fan of uh, David Alaba signing for Manchester City like I am, yeah, you're going to be very disappointed. Now, the Manchester Evening News are reporting that Manchester City have no interest in signing David Alaba. That is going to give a free, clear path to Real Madrid to sign him. Uh, and I think that is a big shame because I think he's a fantastic player. Uh, I don't think he's too interested in playing um, at left-back, which is a position that City are looking for. He sees himself more as a left-sided centre-back. Um, and City already covered with that with Nathan Ake and Emerick Laporte. And so City seemingly not making a move there. Uh, so 
yeah, seems that one's going to be dead in the water. And speaking of things that's going to be dead in the water, moves us nicely onto Edin Dzeko. Um, an update on him. Now, Sky in Italy reporting that Inter Milan want to sign Edin Dzeko, and they're currently discussing with AS Roma for a swap deal involving Edin Dzeko and Alexis Sanchez, which I find very surreal, considering uh, Alexis Sanchez was once upon a time meant to be joining Manchester City, went to Manchester United, ended up going to uh, Italy, going to Inter Milan, and now he could be swapping with the uh, former Manchester City man. Edin Dzeko. Now, sources at Inter are saying that Roma uh, did want to uh, sign Gabriel Jesus from Manchester City, and that's where this link from Dzeko going to City uh, was coming from, because uh, Dzeko had been offered to Manchester City as part of a uh, cash deal uh, plus Dzeko to sign Gabriel Jesus, which I find very delusional. I mean, if City were contemplating selling Jesus, I'd be looking for a lot of money, if I'm completely honest. I'd probably be looking north of what 70 80 million pound i'd be looking towards that 100 million pound bracket um so yeah i just uh roma weren't going to get anywhere near that and offering jeco i mean jeco's right at the end of his career i mean it weren't going to knock too many too much off off the price so i don't really get that transfer so anyway uh, end of the rumour there, apparently according to Manchester Evening News once more Manchester City have opted not to be uh, not to sign Edin Dzeko in this transfer window and that is that with regards to Dzeko coming back to Manchester City, which makes me quite sad but anyway, we still might be signing somebody, we're going to move on to that now, we gave an update yesterday on Keiki from Fluminense in Brazil, uh, their president has confirmed that Manchester City uh, are, are, have got a bid incoming for Keiki, which is very imminent. No details on the fee, but doing some digging, Goal have said that uh, the fee is going to be around nine million pounds. Interestingly, this nine million pound isn't just going to be. For uh, Keiki, it's also going to be for Matinho. I gave more details on these transfers in yesterday's video, so go and check them out. Uh, but it was reported that uh, Keiki uh, was wanted by Manchester City, whereas Matinho was wanted by clubs in the CFG and City weren't interested in having Matinho. But what's very interesting is Gola reporting that both Matinho and Keiki will be signings for the CFG, not involving Manchester City. Uh, so I presume that City will uh, let him go to somewhere in the CFG and see how he progresses there before trying to bring him in so nine million pounds is what it's going to take to sign both of them from Fluminense is what it's uh, seemingly looking like uh, I'm not sure seems a bit sketchy of all the details but uh, yeah we'll see what happens there uh, Fluminense have uh, offered both Keiki and Matinho a three-year contract to try and keep them in Brazil we'll see what happens I'm sure we'll have more updates on that uh, in the coming days uh, for everyone to stay in the loop with so if you are interested and you are enjoying the videos please do subscribe press that red button press the bell and put your push notifications on aiming for 20k subscribers social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram uh, i'll keep you up to date with retweeting sources keep you up to date with everything that's happening so worthwhile follow me on my twitter uh, and instagram if you want to keep up to date with everything happening in the life of JSGC. Don't forget also email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship training videos or any general business inquiries. Leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. Uh, aiming for 300 likes and most importantly let me know your thoughts of these transfers in the comments below. Edin Dzeko not coming to Manchester City. How do you feel? Um, Taylor Harwood Bell is replacing Eric Garcia. How do you feel? Aguero could be leaving. How do you feel? And Keiki and Matinho could be coming part of the CFG. Let me know your thoughts of that in the comments below. And I'll see you all again tomorrow, religiously, 10am GMT. Another Manchester City transfer update, you have my word. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.